Well, it's Independence Day, 4th of July. We're so glad uh, to be an American. I'm proud to be an American, as the songwriter has written. Back in 1776, our great nation started. Founded under God. Oh, my, what a wonderful thing. We were founded under God and under biblical principles and Bible principles and all the laws that were made were basically um, uh, from the Bible and how wonderful it was for many years and it's deteriorated and it's got worse and worse over the years and we're in quite a state right now. It's not a good scene uh, that we're having uh, at this time in 2016. Pray for our country. Pray for every elected official. Pray for the local officials, the state officials, the federal officials. Pray for our country. Pray for our cities. Pray for government. We're commanded to pray for government. Especially pray for our president, President Obama. President Obama was born into a Muslim family, and he was raised a Muslim. And when he was a, a college student and his formative years there, uh, he was under the influence and teachings of, of very radical Americans that were anti-American, and that's his background. So that's what we have as our chief executive in the United States today, and it's a sad thing. He seems to lean much more towards the Muslim religion than towards Christianity. He said the sweetest thing he ever heard was to call the prayer of, of the Muslims. Oh my, uh, that's something. It would have been, he'd like to say it was God bless America or my country tis of thee or, or something that. Uh, he says Muslims are peaceful people. Although the, the Quran uh, teaches jihad, the killing of the infidel, which is everybody that's, that's not a Muslim, and Sharia law and so on. So he keeps protecting it and saying that all of this murder and hatred that's going on all over the world and now in America too it's coming oh we need to have a change so pray for our president pray for President Obama and our local leaders that America could be great again it's a sad thing that we have the things going on here that we never thought would happen I would say two things in voting for anyone local state or federal Use these two principles. There's a lot of other questions, but especially these. Don't vote for anyone that's a murderer. That's for killing. That's for killing babies. Anyone that's for abortion and killing babies, I wouldn't vote for them. Check them out. Never vote for anyone that's for abortion. Never vote for anyone that's for the sodomite uh, lifestyle, the homosexual community that says that there's nothing wrong with being a homosexual or a sodomite, as the Bible says teaches it. The Bible clearly teaches against sodomy. So this is a very, very important thing that we would uh, get America to be great again. You have a great Independence Day. God bless you and God bless America.